Welcome back, everyone, to the Play versus Spring 24 High School Championships. I am Hail Monkey Man in the booth alongside Clutch Key, and you just got to see an awesome 4-0 sweep a moment ago by Putnam City as they took their side of the OSSAA Championships. And now we go over instead to another series, this one, the Special Olympics Unified Oklahoma Region Finals, as we're going to get to see Unified Blue, who was the, uh, the difference maker between the Piedmont High teams going up against Broken Arrow High School. That is the Tigers that will come at you live and large. And uh, this is a fun one here, Clutch Key, because we get to see Spe Special Olympics Unified really bring into this competition these awesome players and really kind of showcase some of this great talent. Yeah, I mean, these guys have a lot of talent, obviously, to get here. Four teams inside of this entire scrum, and now it's going to be the top two here between Piedmont High uh, as well as Broken Arrow High. So this is going to be some fun to watch here. Uh, as these two teams go at it as well overall i mean if you're looking at the standings right now or if you're taking a look at seedings just alone one versus two so not like our crazy four versus three if you will right. but a one versus two scenario i'm expecting a lot of high flying action from these two teams a lot of uh you know just going right at each other right just the punches being thrown and who knows i mean we'll, we'll maybe we'll get more than four <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I, I don't know. It could go in any different direction. This this great program. I mean, they they bring this uh, this kind of inclusion with uh, the inter intellectual disabilities that are ha uh, these uh, student athletes are able to bring, and then ov obviously have a great composition that brings to this comp uh, to this competition overall. So it's awesome to see how the entirety of Special Olympics Unified really brings uh, just th the best out in everyone that gets to be involved, and obviously got highlight the the program specifics as you have the coaches uh anthony mellendorf who had led both the unified blue piedmont and unified uh, gold wildcat uh, from piedmont to go against one another and it can, it's like it's like picking your favorite child it's, you, they have to play against one another and you have to have someone win but it was blue that took the better of at, it at, at <laughs> that point you just stay silent at that point you just, at, just if wait. you're a coach of, of both of these teams and you're, you're just staying there you're just like okay whoever wins yay have the you're, you're good yes you're in the championship good job yes <laughs> You simply just, went up to the side. You don't, you don't even coach. Everyone just oh, gets yeah, thumbs just, up. Yeah, you just, you just, okay, all six of my players are here. Okay, go have fun. I can't say anything. <laughs> At that point, you've done, you as a coach and as a program have done great. No matter yes. what, yes. someone's yes. in the championship. And on the other side of this, well, Broken Arrow High School, they were able to get uh, Lisa Dunlap, Branson Evans, as well as Alexander Stormer to get their squad of the Tigers into this. So uh, it's, it's going to be, can you simply take down one of the two? Apparently a very prolific program here for the Special Olympics Unified matchup and need to see uh, who's simply ready. We we got to see a sweep a little bit ago. I think you and I are welcome to more than four, yes. but sometimes you also just have that one standout player. Will we have a scar amongst all these players? Yeah, a scar or a pay or really anybody on that Deer Creek team that we saw, right? Or Hammer Go Bonk as well. I mean, we didn't really talk about Hammer Go Bonk because it wasn't a lot of points, wasn't a lot of saves, but still was playing on the defensive end, at least putting on the pressure, right? Had a few of the demolitions there too. So you can tell that maybe one player may not be shining on the board, but still shining in other ways as well, putting up some demo numbers there too. Uh, what you would love to see, and obviously I, I will say this personally, I've had a streak of uh, sweeps in my casting gigs lately. Uh, mainly, <laughs> I mainly do Overwatch, and I know I've had a lot of sweeps there. Now I add on a sweep to Rocket League. Uh, my record's not looking good. So yes, you say welcome. <laughs> I, I say please. I say please just enter. If, 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 if a team can go ahead and sweep, yes, please, door right there, right there. Just enter on in, please. That's all I ask. Just give me a series. Give me a series. <laughs> I mean, the series will be there. It just depends on what form. It's funny because you Give bring... me at least five. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because you bring the sweeps, and I have seen nonstop game sevens. So I think the unstoppable force is really moving my immovable object. Yes. I thought that, that maybe there would be a chance to it. But it, game five seems at least likely considering how stellar these these teams have been. And we can highlight the rosters as well as we're going to have Water Weevil, Flynn, and Richardson that will be going against uh, Rocky, uh, I believe, Dabpool. And I think your favorite that you're going to be making a yes. lot of call, calls to. I'm going to let you have the honors. Oh, Laser Litten, 13. <laughs> I will ignore the number, but Laser Litten, like, you love the names that have those alliterations to it, right? So the Laser but Laser Litten. It's in, oh, it's such it. That's a buttery name, if you will. That's such a buttery <laughs> name, just to roll off the tongue a little bit. So, I, I that that that's my favorite name out of the pool here. But 
that's not 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 the same bias here. I'm just saying that that's 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 a name that I I am looking forward to calling out. Yeah, it's, it looks alliteration is uh, every single caster is a wannabe bard. Some of us have been able to yes. learn how to sing and some of us are very tone deaf. That's me. But when you get a chance to be able to find those cool, awesome names, then we definitely want to highlight them. But, you know, we're going to be highlighting everyone in this matchup. As we go in, it's the first five minutes. It's the first game of another best of seven as Unified Blue Piedmont versus Broken Arrow High. Yeah, this is uh, the start of it, and we always say this, right? Game number one, the trend setter, the tone setter here. So let's figure out what these teams want to do. Is that a wow? That's a wall to wall pinch. Morgan's able to get the first goal here. I'm not too sure how, but okay, Dapple. Oh, it's a 50 50 off the top of Dapple. That's what happened. Okay, so Morgan just gets the incredibly, and I won't say lucky, but that's a great pinch off the 50 50. That is a heckin' mathematical shot. That's totally purposeful, found the challenge, and just able to just bank it on through. I wish I could do that on purpose and all the same, but sure. it's gonna it's gonna be a, fi a first find here by Unified Blue is uh, it's gonna be Piedmont finding themselves in an advantageous position. And sometimes, I mean, Clutch Key, all you gotta do in some of these games is just challenge, force the opponents to have to make a not so clean effort as they have to work through traffic. Yeah, force the issue a little bit and just, yeah. you know, you got to push the envelope somehow, right? And that's the only way. If this ball just bounces on forever, it's not going to enter the goal unless there's some Ooh. kind of topspin here. But you got to force the issue somehow. They do triple commit, though, so uh, Piedmont High could pretty much try to force the issue, as we were saying, if you will. But now it's an open net goal to goal here. There's the push, maybe a little bit more of a shove. Morgan's able to clear that one out. And it goes back to midfield, however, tries to cl clear it out. Uh, and actually, this is a different name. Ooh, Master. So maybe a, a different name than I was expecting there. But trying to push in Laser Litten with the shot as it will try to push it in. And speaking of Ooh, Master, there they are for their first goal as we got a tie game at 344 feet. Or at one apiece with 344 left. That is a uh, that's a beautiful name. Look, I, I, I'm here for the entirety of what Broken Arrows and High Tigers are, are bringing forward. Look, if, if I get to say Uwu Master more often, I will be a happy person. A lot of people- Give me your best Uwu. It's just, uh, well, I don't know if I'm allowed to do that on play, on play versus, but we're here regardless. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I'm, I'm done. You can talk for me. <laughs> Hey, if someone asks, I deliver. And for the first a minute and a half, Broken High, after being dished up one off of a fantastic challenge, are in fact delivering. And guess who? It's Uwu as they bring it through. You even rhymed that. I'm impressed, sir. <laughs> Uwu Master comes in, tries to bring it up. And now it's a wide open net and bringing it in. And give him the Uwu one more time. Two to one, your score here. Three ten on the clock. And, oh man, oh, this is just a little bit of a freestyle too. Little easy spin him up and gets the second goal in for the lead. You know, I, I asked uh, some pros uh, maybe a year or two back and I was like, all right, look, I, I'm not the greatest player ever. Best I've ever been is champ three. But I, I had to ask him, I was like, why, why in the world do y'all spin so much? Like, well, it's not really a tactical thing. It's just fun. Like, oh, but I, there's also some extra velocity to be gained if you simply connect on the hard part of your car. So simply put, it's uh, it, it gives you some extra flair to just give yourself some confidence. And that's what's going to be happening a lot more often, especially because Uwu Master contends to just lead out these Tigers from their back half. Bingram oh, was hoping for a reverse on that touch. Yeah, and you were talking about the cars earlier too. Some of these cars have a bigger hitbox, right? You have some, you have the big van, obviously, with a little bit of a bigger hitbox. At the same time, too, you're just looking to see if you find a car that's really good for you. And obviously, a lot of what you'll see a lot of teams do is probably bring out the Takumi, if anything, uh, as more of a standard, and sometimes the Octane as well. But otherwise, it's just it's trying to find the car and find the rhythm. And speaking of rhythm, there's Laser Lipton right there, getting the third goal on the board for Broken Arrow High. Trying to clear out that goal goes Morgan, but Laser Litton right there to win the 50-50 on the clear out. Laser Litton really be hitting. They find it on that challenge and it just deflects right off of a crisscrossing defender and so Broken Arrow. They have one surrendered, but here lately they've seen themselves in a, the driver's seat. Laser Litton already looming and they're gonna try and chase this one down and they do! Good for two immediately. Laser Litton lighting it up. Yeah. There's some alliteration for you. It's uh, <laughs> four to one now. This score, and yeah, this is just Laser Litton taking it off of the kickoff now. A very, very quick two, a uh, four to one here with two minutes and seven seconds left to go. Broken Arrow High making a statement here 
in game number one. And if they can keep extending this lead, man, Unified Blue Piedmont right now, Piedmont High is going to have to make some big adjustments. Even if game number one's a little bit of a tone center, you never want to fall behind this badly this early. Now the, now, the good news is in Rocket League, you can't take your goals with you. So it's, it's not quite your, your DLC goals that will be there all the time. They simply will have to uh, reaccumulate these. But Uwu Master has been very patient about how they're feeding this ball around the pitch and trying to get both Dadpool as well as Laser Litten in better positions. I think the comms are really up for that as well because look how Laser Litten, very patient to these motions. Dadpool on the extra try ends up leaving it behind, but Laser Litten now finds themselves a hat trick of these five goals. Give him the hat trick as uh, Laser Lit. I said we might be saying Laser Linton a few times, and well, this is more than a few. Already three goals on the board for the hat trick for the, uh, I guess you could say for the prodigy, if you yeah. will, as well. <laughs> that's that's the title that it's going to be. They don't even say hat trick. It's just prodigy. This is just going to roll in, unless it goes off the left side. No, yeah. okay, it goes off the left side at the very least. <laughs> Piedmont can breathe. Piedmont can breathe for only a couple of moments because I believe, oh, Laser Lipton had a chance and it just doesn't have enough boost to work with. Off the corner, it'll go back off the blue side wall and nothing down. So for right now, Piedmont High can breathe, but for, for Piedmont, I mean, this is not, this is a learning moment, right? This is, you know now that there are two threats on the other side at the very least scoring. That's Uwu Master as well as Laser Lipton, but add on another one. Dapu comes in late for a score and under a minute left to go. We're one goal away from the Brazil. That's actually their first goal into this. So you have three, two, and one spread amongst these three uh, players of Broken Arrow High. So the Tigers really biting back in a big way against Unified Blue Piedmont. And at, at this point, you found that first goal. You found it off a fantastic challenge, but it has been just all in all the time from the kickoff measure. Uwu Master was really kind of the, that spark that set this fire that got Broken Arrow really red hot. And since then, Laser Litten as well as Dab have been able to really come back into form and force Piedmont into these uncomfortable situations. Morgan gets a massive clear. And at this point, you're just wanting to find some, some level of consolation to get yourself ready for game number two. Yeah, you want to just prevent another goal from happening at this point. You want to play some defense. You want to try to figure out what this other team is trying to do with their pressure. Because obviously some shots have been missed, which again happens to everybody. And now they're just going to wrangle this one on over. Had an opportunity to shoot nothing there. Tries to clear it out and will do so, but we'll clear this out all the way to the other side wall. It's going to be 10 seconds left to go. Ooh, Master's trying to make something happen here in the final seconds. Just going to let this one right on in. Good save by Morgan to end it all here. One second left. This ball is going to just roll on down. Six to one, maybe your final score, but it's only game number one here. You can see the prodigy right there for Laser Litton, your MVP on score. But man, it's total. And Piedmont High, by the way, no shot given for Morgan. So a infinite uh, percent shot opportunity for Piedmont High. They're one for zero, if you will. But other than that, 11 shots on goal with only one save to talk about. Oh my, that's, you know, Piedmont, I feel like uh, they need to have Rocket League give some level of shots for, even for things that just kind of bank off the wall. That was that was a great calculation. They, they challenged for, they found the first, but since thereafter, it was just a, it was a rundown by, uh, by, by the Tigers. They were able to just kind of force into the net and they just took control from the midfield line. When we got to see somewhat of a recursion from what we saw from our previous championship of control from that second zone into the back third it is so hard to rotate away especially when you're just cycling them we got a lot out of laser litten which i'm right now in my head i am currently formulating like a very long alliterative sentence so be ready for that one i'm hoping to write it down somewhere yeah we'll get the get the pen and paper out right now we'll, we'll, <laughs> or type it out if you will we'll figure it out at the very least but yeah the alliteration if you will the alliteration spells trouble here for uh piedmont high because you got to find a way to stop everybody right it's been a it's been an onslaught of the entire shots on goal we just said it right 11 shots on goal only the one save your piedmont high you got not only an opportunity to try to down that amount of shots but at the same time you got to find a way to get a few goals on your own yes morgan got a one for zero goal but that ball lived on the blue side of the field that ball just lived there you were talking about earlier on right during that uh, our last series where it was painted in probably that ball probably could have been play painted in blue the way it stuck there. Well, this time around, they got to find a way to stick it in orange.
it's you want you want to repaint this ball repaint this pitch and just make it easier for yourself and honestly if it can be the confidence that we get right now out of morgan who found two solid touches and then a follow-up just more expeditiously it could be a completely different avenue and i i like that what we're getting out of the first minute of play you know you're getting too kind of caught up on top of themselves but it has been morgan a lot more often here clutch key that is finally getting unified blue piedmont up field and that is the difference maker to give them some of these moments in this opening minute yeah, big thing too is that they're looking for more boosts for more often, which is probably being communicated upon right now, that we gotta get boosts. We gotta find something that can counter this out. That's a bar down shot. It's a two on one, but it's a good thing you win the 50-50 there. And it wasn't even really a 50-50, more like a 66-33 if you will, with the amount of players, but you still win that out. So good thing you have the percentages on your side at the very least with 350 on the clock. Balls wide open, shots off to the right side. Nothing there, you had a chance at it. But unfortunately, it gets cleared out. Morgan could take this, but it's a one-on-one -on -one situation where it's just a back foot away for Uwu Master to play with. And now this shot goes off to the left side. Nobody's going to be able to touch this for right now until somebody tries to clear this. Dapool tries to go over everybody. It's off to the left side, and we'll get another touch. It's Laser Litton adds on another. Laser Litton leaves little to linger while laying goals online. There you go. Hey. <laughs> uh, that was beautiful. That was a good, fantastic follow as well. Making sure that as soon as the defense wasn't able to plunder out a dig on that back goal line, just be in the right place, right time to finish it off. That was a wonderful touch, and that does set them apart from these Tigers. This one, a little bit more swift by Dadpool. See if you can make one with Dabpool if, uh, if we get. Oh, but let's see if you can come up with an alliteration for every one of these players. That'd be, oh. that'd be pretty interesting to see here, uh, especially Uwu Master. I would love to find out what you do there. Uh, but yeah, score on goal, score on net there for Broken Arrow High, showing you why uh, they won last year. And now it's gonna, they're aiming for back to back championships here in this uh, tournament. And right now, looking pretty good for it because they are putting the pressure on and this ball has just been staying on the blue side. You would love to see a lot more pressure here from Piedmont High, which they're just about to do. They miss one, they miss two, but they get the save at the very least. No, it can't be followed up. And another miss tries to get it towards the corner at the very least. Here comes Richardson with a, a little bit more of a help, if you will, but nothing doing there for right now either. Ooh, Master tries to for the backflip, lifts it up over the air. Ooh, Master's got it over Ooh. two, but unfortunately bumps it out of the way and it goes back to the corner. Ooh, Master completely uh, just dunking away, not just from the defense, but his both of his teammates, as both the Laser Litton as well as Dadpool, just go streaking through on a double commit. So uh, ke keying up everything uh, except even their own teammates and then just kind of ruining them. But at the midway mark, it is a great control found by the Tigers at this point because they not allowed Unified Blue Piedmont to find a place of position. Ooh, Master from the ceiling. It's not going to be a good read, but it was a feed instead over to Dadpool. <laughs> Dadpool's ding dang dinger dunks the defense. There you go. There we go. Wow, Mr. Poet over here. Is, <laughs> I got all the alliteration going. Uh, Hail Monkey Man's uh, alliteration special will be coming out very soon, ladies and gentlemen. Watch <laughs> it out for your store shelves. Uh, three to nothing, your score line here. And this is uh, well done by Broken Arrow. Their rotations are very nice. They're working with what they've got right now. And so. You can see that it's Uwu Master trying to carry this all over, but Laser Litton right now making some good plays. Dabpool getting two goals, one away from the Prodigy, one away from the hat trick, if you will, as well. And they're just trying to clear this out, but it's a good thing you've got all three back. Don't bump into each other, guys. You don't want to see that happening if they take advantage of that. And right now for uh, Piedmont High, just got to find a way to break through here. Obviously for Broken Arrow, they want back-to-backs. They want to be known as back-to-back -back championships here in this tournament. Unfortunately, though, for Piedmont High, Broken Arrow's got a mission and they are running straight for it. Oh, what a bump there too. But the, and the, and the mission really is keying up where Uwu Master just finds control and allowing both Laser Litten as well as a dab pool to just kind of rotate freely, which has been a very successful venture. Solid connections have been acquired a time or two and Morgan nearly gets a threat just around that post. It's gonna be a lot of midfield chaos and letting everyone just run it down as we're now less than 80 seconds to go here in game number two. And Broken Arrow seems unperturbed to what Unified Blue is trying to run up with. They've had a few good challenges. They've just been getting a little bit more in the same lane as one another. But this is a fantastic purchase. Morgan, if they don't get bumped, they oh. had a chance. And the defense just recovers. You mentioned it there, too. If, if Morgan doesn't get bumped by Uwu Master there, that's a goal. That is, I would put money on that being a goal. But man, Broken Arrow knows what they have to do. They have to bump. They have to clear that out. And... 
That's uh, saving themselves at least a little bit more time. They're whittling away this clock even further now as uh, it could have been another uh, goal there for at least a teammate, but nothing doing for right now as it'll just go back out to the blue wall side. 30 seconds left to go. This one's pretty much in the bucket unless you can score right now what the average would be is one goal for eight seconds. And right now, Piedmont High's got to go quickly if they want to do that. That is, that is some fast caster math, and that's going to be a blast from downtown as well. Dab pull will get it from distance, and a fourth goal does break the bank, and uh, I don't believe that we're going to be seeing one every four. Once you get, I think I think it was a uh, much higher tier caster than I, I believe they said once you get uh, sub six seconds per goal, it's basically untenable. So game number two, for the most part, I believe we can write this one straight into the books. It's going to be good looks here for Broken Arrow High and the Tigers finding themselves in a dominating position in this series. Yeah, and that's just the, there's the exclamation point for you right there. Ooh, Master with the save. Are they going to try to carry this all the way through? They are. This ball is just going to sit up in the air. Do you take one home for the road? Yes, you do. Ooh, Master's able to get it. And I think that goes off of one of the blue cars here. Couldn't tell who that was at the end there. Yes, it was. It'll probably count as an own goal. Who was it that scored this? Oh, oh, okay. It was Morgan that kind of just bumped it on in there, unfortunately. Broken Arrow does get the win by the official score of five to nothing. Feels more like a four to nothing at the end there. And you can tell, look at Laser Litten, by the way, enforcer medal for you, 39 cars bumped. It's kind of insane to think about there, but final stat line as well, seven to four shots. Beamont High is finding shots, just not finding the back of the net. I mean, you know, if you're not co uh, completely involved in the total offense, which wasn't the, the case with Laser Lytton because they did come away with a goal off of two shots, but uh, there's some there's some players, depending on how some of these games go, they can't even get 39 ball touches. If you're getting 39 car bumps, that's actually a very considerable uptick in yeah. aggression, which really makes it difficult for anyone to be able to get through some of that traffic. So great job as a total team for the side of the Tigers to just run it into this Piedmont defense. And Unified Blue Piedmont, they, they now know what's up against them. We've seen a 2-0 start from our previous best of seven. I've seen at the pro level, and you can back Bounce back. Game three going to be very important. Unified Blue need to get themselves in a, a much more advantageous start. Got to see a goal. Got to see it early. Yeah, I think the big thing for Broken Arrow is that you got to play uh, with, you got to play enforcer for enforcer. You got to play the bump around game, if you will, as well. Try to disrupt this team right now. Because obviously for Ooh Master as well as Laser Lynn, they're getting these shots off. And Dapple at the same time, there's not a single person on this team that has not scored yet. At this point, at least two goals is what I would say uh, for both sides. This could very well be a quick kickoff goal, but saved out by Morgan back onto the blue side. And now you just got to put the pressure on if you're broken arrow. Here comes all the way up in the air. Ooh, Master wants to play the flying game. And why not fly, fly away, if you will, for the one nothing lead. Ooh, Master is just faster, causing disasters like a magical caster. They're able to throw it down from the goal and then just troll straight through. That's eight seconds in. What a tone setter to get Broken Arrow right on top. I wish I had your uh, poetry. I wish I had your <laughs> writing. I'm a journalism major too, which means this, this should be a little bit easier, but I guess I guess my writing's not as good as uh, your casting. No, 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 so no, no, no. <laughs> four minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. And right now you can see balls on the orange side of the field. And this is going to mean a triple commit. They bump into each other though. They cross into each other, which means Ooh. if you had somebody there for Piedmont High, you had a chance at a wide open net. Unfortunately, not to be the case this time around. Maybe your best opportunity comes right here as it goes right up into the corner, but Ooh Master's right there trying to speed it up, trying to speed up the play of game. Doesn't have the boost to work with. Now does get the corner 100, but the 50-50 wins the save for Morgan for right now. Clears that out, bumps into their own teammate. Mind you, it'll be Will McNabb trying to at least play that enforcer round, right? Trying to bump around, maybe disrupt this team a little bit, and that might be what it takes to win. I mean, Will, Will found the best person to try and win that touch against as well as they got it away from Ubu Master, but a great follow, Dadpool. They have been keyed up as a striker ever since we saw that, that really good performance out of both Laser Litten and as well as Ubu. Dadpool wants to get in the mix and they are crashing the gate right behind their teammate anytime that they need them to follow through. What was it? Three, two, one. Only got one game in the, only got one goal in the first game. Got two goals in the second game. Uh, do we see a trend? Or maybe? maybe? Counting maybe up, so. maybe? Count, yeah. Counting up, maybe? I mean, oh, you, you wouldn't like counting up if you're Piedmont High right now, but <laughs> we're broken, ha broken arrow oh. eight. This is a good opportunity. You're going a little bit quicker, right? And you've got all three there. Problem is you've got all three. If some kind of big shot happens here, it's not good news. But fortunately enough, at least it goes back to the corner for right now. 
Watch out for Wu Master though. Looking for something, looking for something big. Gets the bump out of the way as well. Goes back to mid. And now it's a wide open net. Gets bumped as well. You have a chance at it. Nobody's there to follow up. Oh, oh man, just unfortunate. And that's, that's that's Morgan though. That's been Morgan a lot of the times, just getting this these uh these chances to move upfield. And again, look who it is. That's on target, and that's gonna be forcing Uwu Master to have to save it out. That's huge. This has been a lot better th uh, just thoroughfare for them to navigate that traffic and then just get it beyond this defense that has been a bit stuttered at times. This is a chance they give it away, and that's gonna be a deflection oh. necessary by Master to make sure this still stays as a two-goal lead. Oh, Will McNabb could have had the follow-up there too, but what a save from Uwu Master just to give themselves at least this shutout still for potential for right now with two minutes and 40 on the clock. Takes us back out to the corner. You can see Will McNabb trying to cause a little bit of a panic inside of that goal. Exiting top for right now, has to back away knowing that nobody is back for the moment. This ball will move right up inside of the corner. Morgan gets at least the hit to clear that out back to mid. You can see the pressure though. It's a little bit of a different team right now. Piedmont, Piedmont High is Putting on the pressure maybe a little bit more. Yeah, they, Piedmont trying to just work for territory control here on mi midfield. I always talk about who's going to be kind of that battlefield commander and just work for more of open oh. zone space so you can rotate forward. Dadpool has an open net. They're going to secure it as well. As soon as they won off of that challenge, you had, you had w been worried about what Piedmont was doing, bringing too many players, recognizing they just needed to get one, and they jumped just before Morgan turned them into a memory. Yeah, Morgan gets the, almost gets there. Unfortunately, the jump up just in time and the flip. What was more interesting about that, though, like, you just, like we were saying, the triple commit there, but also the way that ball fell was so fortunate. I thought it was probably going to maybe stay up in the air just a little bit longer, but no, it waterfall down right into the perfect position where nobody's in net, and that's just one bump away from getting it in, and that's exactly what they did to capitalize on it. So it's 3 nothing now with a minute 45 on the clock, and if Piedmont High wants any chance at coming back into this series, they need to score, and they need to do so, in my mind, within the next 20 seconds here, because otherwise you won't have enough time for the other two goals. But right now it's a one-on-one -on -one situation with the dribbling, and it's going to just at least go back to the corner, fortunately. But if you're Piedmont High, got to hurry. Yeah, it, this is now Broken Arrow simply forcing the uh, the, the flag post uh, strategy. Bury the, the, the ball at least to the corners and force Unified Blue to have to work the entirety of the pitch, come back upfield, and then find themselves still going against these Tigers and getting through them. That has been a very difficult feature. Morgan is going to be working for some boost, but Dab is instead going for this try as they continue to just hard rotate from the, uh, the perimeter edges and Uwu gets caught up in transition with him but Dab is Dab's been told go play and try to get the as many goals as possible yeah we want the count up situation sometimes you know you want to see that maybe that hat trick that prodigy at the same time as well Morgan's playing with no boost uh, you, you got to find at least some boost here at least some semblance to try and make something happen because Morgan's got to be the playmaker for uh, for Piedmont High right now broken arrow has just all three playmakers just showing off right now. Good pass down the middle. That's a 50-50, though, one. And now it's 30 seconds left. You were talking about that sub six. Well, it's about to be it unless they can find something. They're seven seconds away from it. Laser Litton seeing that one go over the top and has been dab pull a lot more often, just taking everything of value. And they are stealing away any of this possession out of Unified Blue Piedmont. Crashing the gate. That was Morgan going flying by. And Bingram, all they can do is chase it down. That'll be a 3-0 here, not just in this game, but now setting up on that series as it could be another sweep on our hands. And apparently the clutch key curse continues, making these Swiss series. Oh. <laughs> It just it'll just add on. It'll just keep adding on. I, I swear I'm just gonna get a I'm just gonna get a I'm I'm gonna get a Twitter post saying, Oh man, my curse is stronger. Um I know, shout out to my uh my one of my Overwatch partners, uh Twin Salty. Uh Jesse's uh gonna have some laughs knowing that I also swept uh cursed uh Rocket League as well. You saw that earlier on as well, six shots on goal uh for that winning team of, of uh for that winning team of broken arrows. So that means that their conversion rate was pretty high, knowing that it was a three three to six, right? Three to six uh, goal ratio 50%. That's what you want, right? The amount of shots you put on to the amount of goals 50%. Not a bad shooting percentage at all. Bigger thing though, Laser Litson playing uh, Enforcer yet again, 44 this time. So add it on up, man. That is that is quite a lot of cars bumped. I mean, man, 83 cars bumped in two games. That is, oof, that's that's, that, a that, 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 that's a lot of bumpage.
that that's a lot that's a lot of hey okay i'm gonna play away from ball we're gonna just simply give dab the chances to try and go and make these strikes and then uh Ubu master is just playing as kind of controllers staying onto that back half maybe kind of fitting themselves more around the goal and letting dab as well as layers are letting go up and play well now is that same chance for maybe the same exact stratagem to be played out it's game four it's championship point for the special olympics unified oklahoma region final gotta see if we can get anything out of unified blue piedmont because the tie Tigers are simply ready to roar and uh, maybe score a little bit more often and take this chip. Yeah, they're only five minutes away from the back-to-back -back here. So they, the back-to-back -back championships is what you would love to see out of a team like this that Broken Arrow is putting on a show right now. And you can see that, right? Piedmont High knows they're in a tough situation. So what do you do? You send the whole crew. You send the cavalry instead. It doesn't result in a goal this time. So now they're going to have to play all the way forced back. Dapu wants the goal, nothing there happening into the corner, it'll play. But right now, Piedmont High, they started it off with a triple commit. Well, they keep doing this because if they can put the pressure on that way, well, a, one solution is better than nothing at this point with four minutes and 20. Tries to carry this all the way, but off the left side of the post and back to the middle. Just a, just a post too thick. He's trying to just churn as much as they can around the, that LED driven post but the first minute does at least elapse and Unify Blue in a better position than they were before. Oh, I say that, but Uwu Master is quickly cruising for that bruising. Yeah, Laser Litten sets this up perfectly right up against the wall. Actually, it goes off of Morgan's car too. Ugh. You have a little bit more time to rotate back if that doesn't roll off of Morgan's car because that'll just roll right on up and maybe towards the left corner of the goal, giving you a chance to reset, but no. Morgan puts it in a position where it bumps down a little bit, and that's a force that allows Uwu Master to just roll it right on in. So Broken Arrow has the lead, and now four minutes away. Oh, oh my goodness. So I thought Uwu Master was going to make it another highlight real clip, but instead makes it still one nothing with three minutes and 50 on the clock. Back to the middle, it'll go. And right now for Piedmont High, it's got to make something happen, some magic happen, if you will, because this is a championship after all. You don't want to go away empty-handed. No, not at all. You want to at least find a, a single goal, consolation or otherwise, to keep yourself competitive in it. Morgan, what a say. That's going to be a follow. No. Laser Litton does scream forward, and Uwu Master plays for at least a touch. Has to wait on it, but Morgan gets the better of him, and now this is a foot race. Trying to turn it from the perimeter, and Deadpool has to take this touch. It's going to be a layup, and it's going to be there fouled. You go. Morgan ties us up for the first time in a while. Piedmont strikes back. There you go, Piedmont scores, I think, what would be their first goal since game number one, if I'm remembering this correctly, because, man, they finally get some strikes on. We have a game with three minutes and 19 seconds on the clock. It's a it's a brand new game. Maybe they find their rhythm now, and they find that if they can capitalize on some mistakes that Broken Arrow is missing, some balls, you've got a chance at winning this. Now, look, B. Ingram's going to try to take advantage of it. The pressure's on. One miss can result in the world changing. Morgan finds a big dig right in the middle of all that traffic. It has been this congestion that's really given Unified Blue at these moments of clarity. And then they get beyond Broken Arrow. What a shot, though. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, Master, as soon as they're given some free space, they absolutely take advantage of it. And off of the ceiling reset, finding this Woo. touch, such a nice shot. Woo. That is, uh, that's, that's, that's college ready. That is college ready. Flip reset off the ceiling, off the wall. That, that's some college ready gameplay right there. You're looking, looking for some schools. Maybe, maybe, uh, some higher ups there in Oklahoma might want to, uh, go ahead and look at, uh, this player right now from Move Master because they're making plays here. Two minutes and 40 on the clock. How about the add on another one? Why not try to add on more with, uh, those Cooling Dragons, if you will, as Ooh Master making this a class right now. It was funny because I thought that was going to dab pool, but they'd actually just no. kind of slow musty backflipped into it. And uh, yeah, you're you're talking about it, the Oklahoma region. I mean, I, heck, I went over to Norman as uh, my school for about a year and a half before I had to change out. And they've actually put in a fantastic uh, program over there. So giving these players a really good look, it may uh, allow for some opportunities for them to excel, not just uh, in from this uh, level of education, but into the next one. But Morgan, at least a nice challenge. Everyone waiting around. I think everyone's either out of boost or they're just a bit too scared to try and go climb the ladder to grab it. But we're approaching two minutes remaining and what could be a shortened season here for Unified Blue. Massive power flick, big save out of Morgan. Good save out of Morgan. Morgan's making plays themselves as well. 
And there goes Dabpool, just dabbing right on by with two minute warning coming up here in a little while. It is now four to one, a three goal differential. Two minutes on the clock. Broken Arrow wants that back to back. They want it now. And they just cannot wait for two minutes to happen, man. Yeah, it, it takes a while, especially when you score that many goals, at least another 15 to 20 seconds. So they can let it go by quicker, depending on if they play for just open field uh, dribbling and otherwise. But they, they also want everyone to remember why it's going to be a back to back. This has been a team that's been able to connect fairly well, take advantage, and Uwa Master does the damage necessary. They don't want Laser Linton to get any extra touch. Or is it that pool? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think it was, uh, I think you might be right on the laser lit. No, it was that pool. That pool just gets, that, ooh, Master's just like, no, mine, mine. I want, I want the hat. Get out of here. Mine, mine. Get out of here. No, just, oh boy, 5-1. It's my, yeah, my spotlight, my glory. <laughs> Let me have this moment. This one is mine. I earned it. But with 100 seconds coming up, I think that no one's going to be forgetting Uwu Master anytime soon. One of the best names, and uh, honestly, playing one of the best games that we've seen for Special Olympics Unified. And so uh, Broken Arrow High, the Tigers really did strike back after an early goal let by an Uwu Master. Of, of all the things, they've really been able to hear, be just dominant and really be a, sh a showcase feature for the squad. Not the nice shot. That pool was giving his team a little bit of a a little bit of a jab, if you will, on the nice shot. Just <laughs> let it roll on over. But Uwu Master comes on in and gets the five uh, five goal mark. I mean, that's Prodigy Plus at this point, if you will. Uwu Master has been making a name at this point for themselves. And six to one, one goal away from the Brazil. This time, a plenty of time to make it happen. A miss there. We'll bring it back out to the middle. Do you have a turnaround? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But it'll go back out middle side. And now you're talking about the sub six seconds. Well, it's approaching and it's approaching quickly. Only a minute left to go now as well. Needing five goals in less than a minute. Not ideal, but it's not impossible still. Piedmont High's got to go. They got to go now though. Yeah, the possibility is going to be at least more than 0%, but the probability is diving very quickly. Broken Arrow High, I mean, their probability is an all-time high stonks. They've done absolutely gorgeous work here out on the pitch, and they were able to just take Piedmont to school, ring in the bell, and take uh, just allowing everyone to shine in these moments. Less than a half minute to go here, Clutch Key. Uh, you know what? I didn't think there'd be anything stronger than a latent curse, but apparently the Clutch Key sweep curse <laughs> is just massive. Oh. Oh boy, a little bit of a behind the scenes joke, if you will, as well for <laughs> the, the uh, program we work with. But 20 seconds left, another goal. There's the Brazil for Uwu Master. And check this out, by the way, uh, for stats wise, we're probably gonna see it at the end of the game as well. Six goals now for Uwu Master. And that is not, uh, you can you can take out Uwu and still be true master of the game right now. Oh yeah, this, this is a, a player that's, they, they've been mastering this pitch, this game, this time and this, this series. Coming into this season, this squad was expected to do great things. Well, they met all expectations and they're gonna walk away with the chip. This squad will take your special Olympics unified Oklahoma region finals by storm. Uwu Master to the corner. One extra oh. highlight to end it on. Gets the ball, oh. he's down. No, nothing doing. Broken Arrow, your Tigers, they take it in four. Back-to-back -back championships here for Broken Arrow. What a way to do it. Look at that, six goals on eight shots, 75% conversion rate. Man, oh man, what an entire thing. And of course, total shots on goal, 11 to two, which means Broken Arrow just had themselves a day. So seven for 11. Oh, seven thank 11. Kevin. Yeah. Thank Kevin, yeah, seven 11, thank Kevin. <laughs> but uh, for, you know, for, I could go for some 7-Eleven right now. What is it for my time? 6.30? Yeah, some breakfast would sound good from there right about now. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, what what more can you say about Broken Arrow? Obviously, you had a lot of good players. If you're talking about an MVP, the Uwu Master right there. We got to say the name more than once, and we got to hear you Uwu at the very least, which is, which is a highlight in itself. <laughs> I'm sure no one will turn that into an audio clip that I, I will regret later in my oh, career. We're, oh, you're so done. We're, we're gonna go. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to this, and we're we're, we're playing this. We're, I have the soundboard ready. Oh gosh, I am toasted and roasted. That's fine. Uh, at least I got some poetry in motion while we got out there. there. But go. uh, as you go over to maybe 7-Eleven and grab yourself, a, you know, some a drink a slushy. Otherwise, we're gonna go from being gassed up to maybe being painted up. As we're gonna take a bit of a break, move away from Rocket League. It's gonna be our Splatoon. 
three finals for the OSSAA Spring Championship. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a little bit of a break, so make sure to grab a snack and grab a seat later. We'll be back in just a moment.